Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the Season is underway. We had the Team of the Season community and EFL squads in packs yesterday. You guys know that. I want to talk about the market explosion that happened. And yes, we are using a new terminology for the market, an explosion, because some things exploded up and some things exploded and fell apart. That would be fodder and a lot of the SBC player categories in this game. We'll talk about that, the content that we had yesterday, and the crazy market movements. Tons of coins were made by myself and people on this game because there were plenty of fluctuations. As well, as you can see, there is a little tots counter down below. I'm still figuring out like the right font, color, size, all that kind of stuff. So let me know what you think about it. But um, we packed two team of the seasons today. I packed the Gronewald, who is here on the screen right here, the Tots left mid from Bournemouth, and then I also packed Areola in my saved up pack. So that was a GG, and we're going to keep this running for the number of Team of the Seasons that I pack on my account during this entire month or so of Team of the Season. So, just so you are aware of that. But again, there are two objectives out today. We'll start here. Correa, which is a decent looking card. Again, Atletico Madrid links, GG's, because those are very nice links in FIFA. Decent looking card. Not the hardest grind ever. You have to score uh, in 12 separate matches and win eight in the community challenge. Now I'm hearing right now that all sorts of gameplay is sweaty AF because of the weekend league because of these objectives everybody put their sweat towels on and is going to absolute war this weekend because of the we, the tots cards being in the weekend league rewards as well and then we have this pal objective uh through rivals and squad battles i believe uh but a lot of people are doing correa i think that's uh it's a pretty solid looking card 90 rated good fodder if you need it uh and then we'll move to the sbc's trying to get through this stuff pretty fast because again a lot of what we have to talk about today is the market we had this federic Federico Chiesa, SBC, 89 rated card today with 95 pace, 4 star, 4 star, high, high, 5 foot 9, fits the meta to this game pretty well, uh, 96 agility with 99 shot power, 95 long shots, 97 acceleration, pretty solid looking card, right? Now, of course, it's another left mid left wing, but it is Italian, it's got the Piemonte Calcio links, and uh, I think people are interested in this, only 190k, I feel like if this card was on the market, he'd be somewhere between like 150 to 250k, so... I think that is a decent value for that card. Again, it is out for a week. So if you do want to craft it, if we have upgrade packs later on this week, that would be a potential opportunity there. And then we did have a uh, Community Tots Challenge pack SBC today. So there weren't a lot of SBCs that were released. It was all about the packs and the cards that are in packs. Now let's talk about the pack weight on these cards first, because again, this is team of the season and these cards are always very packable. But again, it's just... And we'll, I'll talk about it a little bit more. These cards got absolutely supplied to the max today on the market. Now, don't be fooled. 18% pack weight from a 100K pack. It's like 22% from the ultimate packs. A lot of that is your EFL TOTS players. And I'll show you why, because a lot of those lower tier EFL TOTS are getting supplied on the market like crazy. They're already fodder, basically, which is very interesting to look at. And I want to talk about that today as well. But these cards, all in all, are very very packable. Now, a lot of these card prices have been fluctuating crazy, crazy amounts throughout the day, and that's what I want to talk about next. So, leading into the 6 p.m. time frame, before this all dropped yesterday, we had leaks. We had the entire team basically leaked, except for Zielinski. That was a card that I don't think was leaked, but um, we knew the team about an hour before it actually came out. We knew all these cards and their names and stuff like that, so that was a bit of an L, um, but I think EA did a decent job with the stat boost on all of these cards, and I think it's a decent TOTS community. Now, I will say this, right? These cards look cool. These cards look pretty good, but just wait. We're going to knock it up a whole nother lot notch the next few weeks with the big leaks. I just want to kind of remember that and put that out there. We only have one card in this team that is a million coins or more, and that is Valverde. We, next week, will at least have, during Prem Tots, five or six cards more than a million coins on the first day. I can almost guarantee you that. So, the stats today look good, but it's only going to get better in this Tots promo. But some of these cards today look pretty nice. I think the one that stuck out to me the most today was this Harvey Barnes. Just for the price of this card, he was down at 580k earlier. He's rebounded back up a bit. Four star, four star, got the upgrade from the three star, three star, uh, 97 pace. This guy has more stats than Sterling Foot Birthday. He just doesn't have the five star skills. Um, he's got a lot more stats than Sterling Foot Birthday. Uh, so I think this card, honestly, is a little underrated right now. But these cards, like we talked about in the video yesterday, were very cheap early on. They were very cheap. Then they rebounded. 
Now they have kind of come back down again. And Donnelly was at 330K in the first hour. He went up to over 400, is now back down. I got two of them at 350. Um, this Valverde was one. This Valverde was actually the opposite. The, the hop, Almost the highest tier cards that are in these promos when they come out on these uh, weeks where there's a lot of saved up packs, they continually drop until about that second to third lightning round and then rebound. Valverde went from 1.1 mil to 1.2 and was just under a mil at 990K and is rebounding back up. The biggest mover of the day, though, is this Tagliafico right here. This Tagliafico card, um, during the first... 15 to 20 minutes of these cards being in packs, he went all the way down to 140,000 coins. And that was where he started to tick upwards. Right now, he's 220K. He went from 140,000 coins all the way up to 240. Really sick looking card. And of course, everybody remembered that people in this game had that Nerez. So they went out and they were buying this card. I think there was a lot of investing involved. As you can see here, a lot of these cards are second owner tradable. So that means they're cards that somebody has bought to invest in to trade with. That's what makes me a little leery about this Tagliafico card. I do think his price will drop over the coming days. Again, the hype is the strongest right now, but that was a huge flipping opportunity that was out there today during the first lightning round. I did not flip any of those, but I did make some money flipping a Juan Bisaka. Now, I flipped a lot of icons today. A lot of these, it was a big, big day for profits. I bought this at 1.1 million coins, both of these at 600, this at 520, this at 870, and this at 705. I bought this Juan Bisaka for 691,000 coins during that third lightning round. About a half an hour later, he went to 770, and he has since then come back down to like 640, 650, and he's now back up, I think, to about 680. So I'm really curious right now to see where these cards go into the morning UK. I bought two Alibas. You saw them on my transfers just there. I bought two Alibas at 850K. This guy was up at 940,000 coins for a hot second right here. It says 917. He was 940 for a quick second, and he's very rare. So I'm hoping that this Alaba card just stays rare in the morning and people want to try out these Tots cards. I bought two Endombles at 350, so I hope those rise. Um, and I'm kind of looking at some of these lower tier ones, man. Moise Keen was 100K. He's down to 82. Um, and Kunku was 210. If I can get one at 190, I'm down for that. Ariola was also 100K. I packed him, but if I see 80K for that card, I think some of these could rebound a bit more into this morning UK time as people want to try them out because these cards are affordable. Believe it or not, I mean, compared to like Foot Birthday and some of that stuff, the stats these cards have, these guys are affordable, right? That's how it is with team of the season every year. The pack weight is high. They're very accessible, very affordable. And I think that's going to make people want to try them out because a lot of these cards can just plug and play into people's teams on FIFA. So I'm taking a chance this morning with the Alaba card, with the Ndombele. I did buy a Keen at 79K and an Ariola at 85. So taking a little bit of a, uh, I guess, a, a gamble with those is what you would call it. But um, with the market, I mean, absolutely crazy scenes. Now, before I start talking about the market one more time, let me take a look at the EFL team. I don't want to, I don't want to cut these guys out of the equation because these dudes had crazy market movements as well. Buendia is the only extinct Tots card at the moment. His price range is 400k. He was down to 250 during lightning rounds that first hour. Shot up to extinct almost right after that. This Tony card was 90,000 coins. He's all the way up at 210. Clark Harris was 110. He's up to 175. Aaron's was down at uh, 60,000 coins, and he is up to 103. So there's a couple gems inside of this team. Now, I will tell you right now, Clark Harris, Tony, Aaron's, Buendia, they're all dropping, right? They are all going to continue to drop because, yes, they're fun cards, but as, again, we get more and more TOTS cards coming out, more SBCs, and more supply, 18% from 100K packs. There's going to be lightning rounds again today. There's going to be lightning rounds on Sunday. There's going to be packs continually open throughout the week. Uh, the guaranteed TOTS packs are going to be soon as well. We'll talk about that a little bit today. I think these guys are probably at the almost their peak right now. So if you're trying them out in the weekend league, I would say dish them out pretty soon because a lot of the stuff is going to go lower. Now, some of these cards that are basically fodder, like this Helic card, this Cruel, um, this uh, where's, there was another one in here that was almost basically fodder. Pookie for 49,000 coins. These cards are basically some of the cheapest for their rating, right? 86s right now are 17K. Fodder has absolutely bombed down in price. It was the saved up packs and lack of good SBCs. And I really think today that when the team of the season stuff dropped, people didn't really care about investing in fodder for that attack or icon SBC. Now, there were a lot of people that did invest in fodder today, but that was not the main notion. And I'm surprised, honestly. Um, I did not 
estimate this much drop on the fodder market as we had yesterday. So that's on me because I did not I did not think it was gonna drop this much. We knew it was already low. I recommended a club stock. And if you bought some of these uh, 80, 86s at like 20,000 coins and you did a club stock, don't feel like you're really losing coins because those 86s are gonna go back to 25, 26,000 coins like they were. Uh, it's just right now they are absolutely crazy, crazy low. I think if you want a club stock anything or buy any fodder for an investment, right now I would focus on 84, 85, 86 because mostly of the SB, most of the SBCs we're going to see, I think, will require those types of squads in them the most. And of course, as people are packing TOTS cards, if they're going to do an 86 rated squad, they can throw a 90 in there and then fill out the rest with 83s and 84s. So I think the 84s to the 86s are the good range, but man, these prices dropped big time today, especially in the mid-tier fodder. Like 87s are where 86s used to be at 23, 24,000 coins. So I think if you wanna buy up some of these TOTS cards that are the lowest, like this Helix card, if you wanna buy one and put it on your transfer list, cruel. I do think that they are gonna require team of the season cards, not this week, but probably next week during Prem Tots, I think that will require Tots cards. They might require a Team of the Season player for the guaranteed community Team of the Season SBC. We'll see if that happens, but fodder is in the mud right now, and this is the graph that shows it off for real. You see the huge, huge drop. Now, it's rebounded back a little bit, but it's still extremely, extremely low. So if you have not club stock, again, like Aguero's SBC, Right now, Aguero's SBC was a million coins when it first came out. I believe Aguero is now like 600 something K, 700,000 coins to do Aguero. So it's like almost a third of the price, uh, or sorry, two thirds of the price of what it was before. It's dropped a third. So crazy, crazy drops on the fodder market today. That was honestly insane. Now, what happened with the rest of the market? Because there was panic selling. There wasn't that much panic selling leading up into 6 p.m. Some icons got panic sold, but then after 6 p.m., rare icons, especially some of those French and some of those English, English icons exploded up in price. And then you had actually more panic selling post 6 p.m. on special cards than you did pre 6 p.m. Now, if you take a look at like this Lucas card, wow, Vardy is up right now a lot, 640,000 coins. These cards were fluctuating like mad though, right? Going into content, Lucas is right around 550,000 coins. Ignore the spike here. He didn't go to 700K. He was about 600K, right? Content comes out, he drops a little bit, and then boom. A couple hours after content, back to 644,000 coins. He's now back down to 600. So what you saw today was what we talked about last night. We saw a huge market rise on a lot of the out-of-pack stuff. Whether it was panic sold a little bit after 6 p.m. or if it wasn't panic sold at all, a lot of the stuff continued to go up uh, in the couple hours after that content drop. That was the one thing that I was banking on today and that 100% happened. This uh, Morales was down at 360. Richarlison was 350. He went all the way up 100K to 450,000 coins as a very, very rare card. Taking a look at the rest of this market, other things that went down. This Anthony card, who is 472 right now, that might be a wrong price. That's card's very rare. He was down at 310. He was 360 in the morning. Tagliafico came out. He went down to 310 and now is 472 being very, very rare. Saka was 770, he's now 920. Fatih was a million coins flat, he is now 1.1. So a lot of this stuff has rebounded extremely nicely. Team of the years as well. Ramos was down closer to 900K. Kimmich was like 920. Um, Bruno's 2.4, wow, that is up. Kevin De Bruyne at 1.08 and Trent Alexander-Arnold at 680. Those are up a lot. Now I wanna talk about icons as well because i traded with a lot of icons today some of the baby icons were sold off into 6 p.m uk and they rebounded like crazy some of your like baby and middle pushkas um baby pushkas today was one that i missed unfortunately i was not able to find this deal i saw the price and flip in he was down to 710,000 coins this guy tonight for a short period of time uh, when the market really boomed up two or three hours after the promo started after 6 p.m he was a million coins selling. He was selling at a million coins as Baby Pushkas card. So some of the baby icons had the craziest, craziest of rises today. Now, icons in general are very interesting right now. I'm seeing a lot of prices that interest me because this, for example, this Prime Moments George Best, he is down at 2.9 million coins. Earlier today, this card was selling at 3.1 to 3.2. So some cards hit a peak in a couple hours after that. Again, that buyback that is post promo is so massive that you see cards just explode out of nowhere. Um, even like this Essien, I sold my Essien for 1.27. Right now on the market, this guy is 1.35. So I kind of undersold my Essien in the grand scheme of things. 
which is crazy to think about. Uh, even though I bought it at 1.1, I made a huge profit on it. Uh, some of this stuff really bounced back and really, really, really went high today, but other stuff is kind of coming back down, right? Uh, like I showed you that George Best or this Roberto Carlos, who was 1.5 mil in the morning. He's down at 1.29 right now, which is crazy, crazy cheap for this Roberto Carlos. So um, I think what you mostly saw today, if you actually take a look at what I was flipping and what I traded with today, I traded with a lot of attackers, right? The Stoikov, the Sanchez, uh, the Maximin, the Owen that I have here. Um, not, I guess not a ton of attackers, but the players that I was watching today and the players that rebounded the most, like we talked about last night, were those attackers, right? Because if you look at the squad and you see who's in it, a lot of these guys are more midfielders, right? This Monte card uh, was 850,000 coins before the content drop, a little bit of panic selling after 6 p.m. as well, 850K, 840K. He rebounded and was selling for about 30, 40 minutes at a million coins flat. Crazy, crazy rebound. Again, and that is what we expected. A lot of those strikers went up big time. A lot of the icons who were down bad from earlier this week really went up big time as well. Um, 2.08 for this Vieira. Wow, what a price that was. I missed a, I missed a deal there. But uh, yeah, just a crazy, crazy day. This Shevchenko was like 420,000 coins. He is up to 480 right now at the moment. Uh, this Stoikov, I think, was around a million uh, coins as well. He was up to 1.2 at one point today. So crazy, crazy rises on this market. Now, let's talk about continuing to this weekend, right? Today's Saturday. What's going to happen? We're going to have more lightning rounds. There's going to be panic selling on the TOTS cards headed into 6 p.m. because people think that every time on Saturday uh, that these guys are going to get supplied. Now, I will tell you this. The bulk of the supply and the price drops that we saw yesterday, the, all that supply that came in the first hour, that was because of saved up packs, all right? So I don't think you're going to see a crazy amount of supply today. If you see crazy cr uh, price drops, it is because of panic selling and panic selling only. So this Mukiele was 370. He's inching his way back towards 400K GGs. Um, but all I'm saying is watch out for the panic selling today on some of these rare cards. If you see panic pre 6 p.m. or right after 6 p.m., uh, of course, if you don't want to risk it with the content, you know, that's kind of up to you. But just kind of keep an eye on these team of season cards because yes, they have a high pack weight, uh, but uh, people also have, there's there's a lot of demand for them. There's a lot of demand. So just watch the panic selling pre 6 p.m. Now, con SBC content wise today, I don't expect to see upgrade packs. I would probably expect to see some other player SBC. Maybe, just maybe, they would drop that icon attacker upgrade or some sort of icon SBC. But I'm honestly feeling another team of the season card, right? We have not seen a team of the season moments card design player dropped yet. So maybe something along those lines. Um, I guess there is an outside shot if they wanted to. They might drop the guaranteed EFL TOTS pack today. I don't know if that would be today, but I think, I forget what the uh, rotation was in the earlier years of FIFA. I think they dropped that EFL TOTS pack. They would drop the lower league first, either on Saturday or Sunday. Then they would drop the main league on like Tuesday. So it might be Sunday, Tuesday, or maybe Sunday, Wednesday, maybe either today or tomorrow. I think we would get that EFL team of the season guaranteed pack. And it's probably going to be a pretty cheap squad. But you know what? People are going to go and do it because they're going to have a chance to pack Buendia. And, you know, it better be cheap because a lot of those EFL TOTS cards are already in the bin as it is. So that is one of the things that I'd be expecting today. I don't expect maybe, a, I don't expect a huge day of content today on Saturday, but we'll see what EA Sports have up their sleeve for a Saturday on FIFA Ultimate Team. But again, I do think that you will start to see some of these prices on the market start to tick downwards. Like your out-of-pack specials, you've actually started to see it a little bit. We were just looking at some of these out-of-packs cards over here on Footbin. Um, you know, you've got Sun, wow, Sun 495. That's crazy, crazy high. But we were just talking about the foot birthdays, right? Foot birthday Adama today uh, is a card that's already started to come back down. Where Charleston was 430, he's back down to 380. So I do think you will see like a beginning of a weekly sell off um, even today because a lot of people are going to remember that, hey, Prem Tots is coming next week and a lot of the high tier stuff. Watch your icons. Stuff was absolutely at its highest probably right here last night. This uh, went from 700,000 coins to 780. He was actually 830K at a, at a point, and now he's getting sold back off to 700,000 coins. So 100% be watching out for some price drops today. I know people are sweating on the weekend league, and that's going to maybe make people play a little bit longer into the weekend. But 
people are going to start to sell these cards today because again they know that there's Premier League tots coming next weekend there's tots cards on the market that are so cheap compared to a lot of this stuff i mean again we only have one single team of the season card over one mil and this Valverde is probably going to be drop, un, dropping under a mil with the supply that that card has. So I do think you will start to see some of that sell out today. I'm really curious to see how it affects the moments because especially some of the high tier moments, because I think people that have really expensive cards in this game are going to know that team of the seasons next week are going to be a whole new level of expensive compared to this week. Uh, so they're probably going to start to sell off some of those cards. So, you know, that's kind of what I'll be expecting tomorrow. Maybe more of that sell off happens later in the daytime into the evening. I still can't believe this Roberto Carlos has not sold over the hour. That is nuts. That is crazy. Was there an open bid here? No, there wasn't. Anyways, um, yeah, so I think you will see a little bit of that sell-off. That's why I really try to clear a lot of this stuff out tonight. Like this, Hugo Sanchez was 977. I don't know if he's still really rare tonight. You know, you might have an opportunity to sell some of the stuff as, really, as it is really rare. But you can see Hugo Sanchez down to 950. So I got mine out just in the nick of time because this guy is actually starting to drop a little bit already. Um, you know, I was looking at Moments Cantona today. He was one that looks like he's still kind of rare. He was popping up at 3 mil flat and right now he's 3.2. So he's still kind of high. So you're still having opportunities maybe right now or into the morning today on Saturday to get out of some of the stuff as it is high but I do think you will start to see it sell off later today. But that's the video for today, boys. Crazy day, right? Tons of coins were made. Hopefully you packed some team of the seasons. If you did, let me know down below in the comments. If you made coins as well, let me know what you traded with. Um, but I think if you do, or if you're worried about losing coins, then maybe there is gonna be an opportunity to get some cards out before they continually drop lower over this weekend. Um, again, that attacker icon pack could be coming soon, some sort of icon pack, and just more TOTS SBCs. Fodder is so low right now that um, if they put upgrade SBCs out too, that's gonna take some coins off this game because they people will grind upgrade packs. They, they grind upgrade packs if you know anything is out in packs. So that is something to kind of keep watch out for too. If they do 81 plus player picks, that'll make the whole market drop down as well. Maybe we watch some of these TOTS cards rebound in the morning. I'm hoping I can get this Alaba back to about 920, right? He's got a decent amount of cards around 900K and of course some undercuts still, if, but not too many overnight. So hopefully we can get this back to 920. That'd be real nice. Make about 20, 30K per card on those. That'd be really dope. So that's the video for today, boys. Ton going on, of course. If you do have any questions, drop them down below in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.